It's your feel-good breakfast show, Expresso here in S3, and presenting somebody that you know and you love. Somebody that we really connect with on a number of different levels and bars. Nasty C, a rapper, a songwriter, a record producer, an all-round dope individual is here for you on your feel-good breakfast show, and we couldn't be more excited. So I feel like we need to give a round of applause, because I paid everybody to clap. Are you ready? Please, eh? Money yes, well spent. Yes, Come on! Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Like, yes, that's it. I paid them all 10 rand. Uh, if yes. nice. <laughs> if, if only up. you hadn't just come from stages across Africa with thousands of screaming fans, right. that might have landed well. <laughs> um, <laughs> so I appreciate it, Thomas. Uh, nice, oh, you know? Because it's nice. real love, dude. And, yeah, and yeah, yeah. I feel like we've been so privileged to be a part of this journey. Whatever this yeah. journey is that you're on, because I think it's new territory for everybody, yeah. bro. Yeah. A, an African tour like this is new Shoot. territory. No, has anyone done this yeah. before? From an African perspective? Not like this, it, not like this, no. Especially not with hip-hop too, man. You understand, hip-hop is not really the sexiest thing out there, you know what I mean, at the moment. Especially in Africa too, yeah. that's like Afrobeats dominated. Sure. Now I'm a piano dominated yeah. too. DJs are dominating, man. You understand, yeah. so like for us, so for us to, to do this and make it happen like this, it's crazy. And for the people to respond like Yeah, that. it's oh, wild, it's actually on. wild. Well done, bro. No, thank you, man. But it's good because the African continent is it's a hive of hip hop culture. Yeah. Like, let's be honest, a yeah. lot of hip hop culture comes from the African continent. And if we, yeah. if we lose sight of that, then we'd be losing sight of 50 years of mm. hip hop. We just celebrated mm. that. So yeah. for you as one of, I'm gonna call you like the mavericks of hip hop, somebody who's still carrying a lot of it on your shoulders, mm -hmm. like the state of hip hop, the future mm. of it. Mm. I mean, what are, what are your thoughts on that in, in terms of carrying it forward? You know, do you mm. think it's going to survive the Ama Piano and the pop? I think so, things? man. I think so. Because I don't, I don't think it dies completely. The culture is still there. Yeah. No matter what genre is popping at the moment, the culture is there. We all dress hip-hop. We all sound hip-hop. The slang is hip-hop. You understand? Yes. So it's like, I don't think it'll ever die, man. It's like, it has its moments where it kind of just, like, takes the back seat a little bit. Mm -hmm. But... It's there, it's there, it's all It's just there. time to write, bro. It's yeah, man, time yeah, yeah, yeah. to write. Go back, make another album, come back, smash them on the head, you know? Uh, do so you feel that, though? Because now you're working in multiple directions. Yeah. So you've got to keep delivering on a standard of music. Yeah, and, yeah. and yeah, I know you've figured out some algorithms and you've got some stuff down there, which is, yeah, man. you have to when you enter into the pop side of things when you're selling music. But yeah. there, is, there is something about finding your place in the world yeah. that I think hip hop gives a lot of young people. Yeah. If they don't fit into another box, yeah. How does it feel when you're in another country yeah. and you're, you're finding all your, your hip-hop heads there with you and that kind of connection, the same connection yeah. you have with your bros and your sisters in KZN, yeah. you find that in another country. What does that feel like, dude? It's amazing, man. Because you get to see them rap all these songs that you wrote that are very personal, introspective yeah. songs, you understand? So you, when you see them rap them back at you like they wrote it, bro, nothing compares to that feeling. It's like they understand you. It's like, because this is like therapy for us. Yes. It's like we really go in there and we, we say all these things that we're scared to speak to other people about. You process it, yeah. Yeah, so when, so when a stranger comes up to you and they rap that song and they tell you, yo, this song changed my life, though. I relate so much to this song. It's like, it's amazing, man. I'm just thinking what, what, how life-changing it would be to see your face on a billboard. Oh, yeah. Square. It's okay. nice. That's good. It's very good. It's nice. I was very proud. I'm not going to lie, right? Yeah. As a fan and a friend, I was so proud to see this man's face in Times Square. I was like, you see, that's where we belong. Yeah. And, and now with this new album, this new project, if you go track by track, you've put together something that really makes people feel like they can love it anywhere. Yeah. You know, and yeah. I think that's why... You, you got to be so proud. It's, there's a lot of work in this. There's a lot of, you know, even the collaborations you've, yeah. you've taken on. The voices that you've used, too. Yeah, it's, no, like, no, it's, no. it's not only established voices. You've, really, like you've, you've actually taken people to the mountaintop with you on this album yeah. as well. Curated. Was it deliberate? Yeah. Did you actually handpick these yeah. people to say, I want to collab with you because I want to enrich <clears throat> you know, the art? It was exactly like that. Everything was super deliberate. It was intentional. From the way I wrote, like my, my style of writing is yeah. kind of different for this, for this album. It's very direct, very honest. Not a lot of just like flashing flows and punchlines and stuff like yeah. that. And also with production and the features also, we, we took a a lot of time to make sure everything was like perfect, man. We came here to Cape Town and we stayed here for about a month, just hidden somewhere in the house, just working every single day, man. Ah, uh, is that because there was there were sightings of you? That people said, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you mean, SEC? SEC would have come With to me for an interview. Glasses. What are you talking about? <laughs> oh, but you were hiding, but it was also collecting some of the, the finest voices in Cape Town. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and, I know that. And, and we all rise. And that's the thing yeah, is, man. one rises, you all yeah. rise together. I yes. get that. Yeah. 
you're rising really early, I would imagine, staying up really late, and you've got a lot yeah. more material because you're a papa. Yeah, Congratulations, <laughs> my bro. No. Daddy! No, oh, dude, I know there's before and after yeah, as a parent yeah. like that. Yeah. How much has it changed when we talk about processing and yeah. the, the weight, the responsibility of what you write now when you know someone you care that much about yeah. is going to listen to it? How has that changed? It's dope, man. It's amazing. I feel like it's, it's a change that I really needed in my life anyways, you know? Mm. I think it caught me right at the, at the moment where I was transitioning from like, oh, the coolest kid, whatever, yeah. uh, to like a man now, you understand? Yes. I'm a young adult now, I'm way more responsible. This guy's taught me so much, man. It's, it's, a, it's a boy, by the way, uh, you guys didn't know. We don't know how much digging we can do, yeah, dude. I'm, <laughs> no, I'm just no. waiting for your gigantic security guard just to put his hand on my shoulder and just give me that squeeze. <laughs> like, oh, yeah, I man. love it, no, man. But he's, he's taught me so much, man. You learn, you learn so much about just like love, there's new levels of love now. It's like. I've gotten this crazy amount of patience that I never had for anyone oh, yes. ever before. You're gonna need it, dude. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Yeah, man. But like, yeah, yeah. It really changed me. It changed me a lot, man. But it also puts everything onto like level 15, you know, because yeah. the thing is, you're doing it for a purpose not only about 50 years of hip hop and legacy. Yeah. But now this legacy holds something more powerful, and that yeah. is another life that's coming into this world, that's growing and developing, and you yeah. get a chance to lay the breadcrumbs down as a father. Yeah, man. That's power. Yeah, man, it is, it is. And also just like, without being selfish, it's like, this is a whole nother life that I've been trusted with, you know what I mean? Yes. By God. So it's like, I have to do right by that life. And that's to see a side. I just have to be a good father and have to be... And other young fathers are going to feed off that and they're going to see that. Yeah. And it's just as yeah. important. Yeah. You get to let all of this out when you're on stage, bro. Yeah. Durban next. What can fans expect from this tour? Because mm. it lands different, Man. bro. Durban's going to be different for me personally because yeah. that's, that's my hometown, you know. Just, I'm going home there. I have to give them a crazy show. We were just there a week ago looking at the venue and just like figuring out a way we can make it even cooler than what we had planned before. Mm. Mm. And we came up with some pretty dope ideas. It's gonna be nuts, <laughs> it's gonna be nuts, man. I, I can see the excitement in your eye when you're nah, this nah, nah. excited. It's gonna be nuts. At this stage of a tour, Durban, good luck. Yeah, Durban yeah. City, September 28 October in Joburg. It's gonna be fantastic. And of course, Nasty C will be on your stage very soon. It's an African throne tour and we are celebrating our own. Go grab yourself a ticket and be a Quickly. part of the future of hip hop that's sitting on our couch right here. It's Nasty C. To love and to love is to live And I'm giving them that vibe So they loving a the kid They might jump for the kid Run for the kid If they want to be on this side Tell them love is the bridge